Hi and welcome to Fly Tying Step by Step. Today we will be tying a Perdigon style fly. I call it the Peacock Perdigon, seeing that I'm using mainly Peacock Hull. And it's an easy tie, fun tie, and uh, I'm going to show you now what materials we are going to use. So for the tail we are going to use some Cocteau de Leon fibers, any color that suits your fancy. Then for the body, we are going to use a stripped peacock hull. If you don't know how to strip them, there's quite a few nice videos on YouTube that you can watch. You can use your thumb, nail and your forefinger to just strip it with your nail or you can use a eraser or there's a bleach technique as well. But just search YouTube and you'll find it. Then for the thorax, we are going to use a normal peacock hull and then for the flashback version we will be using flashable. You can tie it with or without a flashback but both are very very effective. So if you have all your materials ready we can start tying. In the vise I've got a size 16 barbless nymph hook and a 3.2 millimeter tungsten bead I'm going to add a little bit more weight to it with some lead wire and I am using some 0.015 lead wire on this fly. Eight or so wraps should be sufficient but it depends on the water that you will be fishing how much weight you need to add. So I'm just using a bobbin to make it easier for me to add the wire. Push that wire in underneath the bead and you will notice that as soon as you push the lead wire in underneath the bead, I'm going to show it to you now, there's your bead, it's hanging loose and as soon as you prop it up into that bead cavity, it pushes the bead a little bit off center so you can see the this gap that you've got here increases and that helps with your hook sets as well so just a little trick push your wire in underneath that bead and it will kick that bead up and that will help to increase your gap of your hook just going to flatten that tag end And now for the thread, I'm going to use black thread in a 70 denier. I'm going to start behind the lead wraps just to secure it. A few wraps over it. And then advance my thread to the bend of the hook. After I've laid my thread base, I'm going to select around about five or six cochlear fibers, align those tips up, and the length that I'm looking for is roughly the length of the body. I've created a little hump, you will see it here with my thread that's going to help me prop up those fibers and also splay them a bit. So a few loose wraps just to keep them in place, secure, make sure that your fiber sits nicely on top of your hook shank and we can adjust the length of the tail. after we've done that. Great! I'll show you how that little hump just kicks open those tail fibers. There you can see it. They just splay open beautiful profile. 
Now we will just create a little bit of a taper for our body. Okay, now we will start with our body material, which is our stripped pico coal. You will see that I tied in at the back of the body, and I'm tying it in at an angle. The reason for this is it just helps you create a proper starting angle when you want to wrap those. fibers around the shank of the hook. I'm going to throw in a half inch just to make sure that everything doesn't come undone. And this is where the magic comes in with this Norvice fly tying system. So I am going to start my wraps at the base of the body. And I want to start it right up against the tail fibers. You want touching wraps with this stripped peacock hole. You can be forgiven for taking your time, seeing that these fibers can be quite fragile. Right with the body done, we can tie that off, and now we will add some UV varnish just to secure that pico curl fiber and give some shine to it. What I also find with this UV varnish is that it helps to just make those segmentations stand out. Just a little bit, just spread it around the body, and then we can use our UV torch and just secure that varnish. Make sure that it's properly dry before you continue with your fly tie. Good, we are basically done. All we need to do now is our flashback. If you're going to tie in a flashback and then also our thorax using the peacock hole. So make sure that your flashback sits nice on top of your hook. And then we can add our thorax. It really is a fun tie. Easy and very effective. You can add a drop of super glue before you start with your peacock hole just to make it more durable. But I find that with this flashback, it also helps to just secure. Your material. Throw in a few whip finishes. And that is it. 
So there you have your peacock polygon fly. You can see the segmentation coming up beautifully with that UV varnish. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel so that we can notify you of more flight time episodes that we will publish. Also give us a like and then you're also welcome to join our Facebook page. We will post all our latest videos on there as well. Tell your friends about our site. Visit norvice.com to see some videos on this vice. And for sales in South Africa, you can contact us via Facebook for sales and pricing. Thank you for watching. Fly tying step by step. Enjoy your fly tying and your fly fishing. Bye.